This tutorial explains how to copy and paste data from the clipboard into R. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you two examples and in the first example I will copy and paste data from an Excel file to R. And for this we first need to create an Excel file as you can see on my desktop. So in my example I have created an Excel file which contains three columns x1, x2 and x3 and three different rows containing numeric values. Now let's assume that I want to copy and paste these data into R. Then I simply need to copy these data using Ctrl C on the keyboard and then in the next step we can go back to R and since we have loaded these data into the clipboard, we can use the read.delim function to import our data into R. So if you run line two of the code, you can see that a new data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data Excel. And if we print these data to the bottom in the R Studio console by running line three of the code, you can see that our new data frame data Excel contains exactly the same values as our Excel file that we have copied to the clipboard. So in this first example, I have shown how to copy and paste data from an Excel file. However, similar to that, we can also copy and paste data from a TXT file. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line five. So for this, we first have to open our TXT file that I have already created on the desktop. So if you have a look at this TXT file, you can see that this file also contains numeric values. And you can also see that this file contains three columns, x1, x2, and x3. So basically the same data as our Excel file. So if you copy all these data to the clipboard, then you can go back to R. And in R, you can use the read.delim function once again. However, this time we also need to specify a separator because otherwise the read.delim function will not be able to separate our data into different columns. So in this case, our separator is a blank space. So if you run line five of the code, you can see that another data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data TXT. And if we print these data to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code, you can see that another data frame has been created, which is containing our data that we have copied to the clipboard. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.